Hi, this is James Hutchison. This is my uh, ICS 415 final project. It's called Rescue Oahu, and it's an aggregate that collects all of the animal uh, available animals on Oahu. So this is my landing page. You see here, uh, I have this little section here for a featured pet. And if you want to look at a different one, you can just click here, and it'll pull a random one um, from the data. I've got these nice cards down here that have some hover effects. Uh, that clears the overlay and darkens the background of the image, and my footer down here. Uh, I did all the CSS myself, and I also made it responsive, so you can see when I shrink it down to uh, to the size of a phone, it collapses and stacks uh, everything into cards, and this still works here, and these, are, these collapse too. Um, the majority of the website code is here in this um, in the search page. And so let me do it in desktop. So uh, all of the data, uh, so I have these search fields here and each each field is populated with possible uh, filters. And, and they're all filters that are pulled from the data. So for instance, if we wanna see all the dogs uh, from the Humane Society that are female, you know, and it'll load up these five here. And there's actually more than that. This is just, I, I took a collection of about 30 different uh, animals from the different websites. And so there's one female from Hawaii Dog Foundation, one from Ka'ava Canine Rescue, and uh, et cetera. And you, know, you can sort it by age. Um, you know, there's even you know, like a mouse from the Humane Society and a rabbit, and, and it displays the data about them. And you can click on these links. So if we wanted to follow, I'll do it in a new tab. And so what it'll do is it'll just take you to the small animal adoptions on the Hawaii uh, Humane Society, and you can, you know, you can find the animal there. Um, so we also have a rescue page here, and it's set up much like the landing page, except it just has the cards here um, and the images, the logo of the of the rescue, and it also will collapse uh, when you. Shrink, it, shrink down the screen size and stack the cards. Finally, there's an About Us page. And it's just, just, uh, it does the same thing. So the website was, um, I built it in Angular. So uh, basically one of the beauties of Angular is you can completely separate um, your data from your, your page. So almost all of the data in the, is set into these files. Now, if I had a database, I would have all this information stored there, but instead I, I put it all in JSON format and then this file is exported. Um, I even, so even these files, these, these load up the HTML content. So like the nav bar data is all, is, comes from here. So there's a, this, this is the link, this is the route, and this is the text that's displayed in the link. So if I wanted to add a new one here, I could just say, add another one like, new link and it will it'll automatically just put it up into load it up into the into the nav bar see so here's that new link um and I, let me get rid of that for now so all of my i have it set up so these are my universal components the header and the footer uh it's angular so each one has a css file a HTML file and a TypeScript file. Um, so a good example of how this works is to look at my. Uh, oh, I also have interfaces. So I have two um, two types that I made custom types. One's an animal, and so these are the parts of an animal. If any of these are missing, uh, TypeScript will throw an error. This is same with the rescue. Uh, so let's look at the pages here. So landing is. Um, a good example. So the landing homepage has my header here. So this is the header component is loaded here, and then I have this head image with uh, a data binded variable. So it pulls the it gets the the actual URL from the TypeScript file. Same here. All this data is coming from the TypeScript file. I have these other self made components. I have a forty what I call a forty sixty box, and this is the four box. And so these are the components that I'm talking about right here. So here's the four box component, you know, et cetera. Um, 
all the data is served through a service. And so basically all these are, so you remember my data files that I showed earlier, they're all loaded here through the assets. So they're imported in here. And then they are, when I, when I want to call get data, say this is the intro data, or I want to get my nav data. Uh, these are public, um, publicly protected um, methods that will distribute the data. Uh, so I, what I also, and also one nice thing about it is these subjects. So take for instance, this animal subject. So when there's a, a filter that's changed, um, it comes through here, it figures out which animals need to uh, fit the criteria for the, the new search fields, and then it will publish it here. And so you see, so the animal subject next updated animals, and this is an array of animals. And then if you go to the search page, you can see here, I'm subscribing to the animal subject, and then I get this new value and I sign it to the animals and it will automatically populate it into the, uh, into the fields, into the, the cards. Um, I'm gonna put all this code on, it's all on GitHub. Uh, and so if you wanna, if anyone wants to look at it, it's all available there and you can see it. You can find the link uh, in my, on my webpage and on the shared drive. Thank you.